So this is what I meant. My dad's Ford is uh, pulling me right now. I'm trying to uh, get me a Ford, but I got the truck in neutral. And uh, he's pulling, as you can see, it's jerking. Then my wife is following up in her car. So yeah, I, I'm just gonna give me something that's reliable. Right now, this is not reliable. And this is really dangerous. Don't try this at home unless you are certified. We are. <laughs> we professionals out here. We, this is like our third time doing this, so. Yeah. We've done this with three different cars. And who knew that it would be my truck? Mm -hmm. Trying to pay attention to his hand signals. <laughs> Hey, hey, dude! <laughs> Don't think you're going a little too fast! <laughs> Whoa! You already going 60? Oh, 28 more, we're gonna go back to the future! <laughs> hey, man, my, my brakes is, break, is freaking out! I'm freaking out! Slow this! Slow that! Slow that! I'll just play, y'all. Look at that old school car. One thing about the countryside of Missouri, I don't know if y'all can hear me over the wind, but one thing about the countryside of Missouri <laughs> is they got a lot of old school cars out here. Hopefully, our next project car could be an old school car. Although, I am in college and I need gas. What I mean by need gas is, we need to be saving gas. Woo! That's oh, turbo yeah, on yeah. that truck. I was about to say that. Like I said, right now we're going a good 60. That Ford is pulling, man. It's hauling. Like I said, this is the third time this Ford alone just walking my truck, no problem. <laughs> Engine's not revving or anything. I think the next truck that we get is definitely going to be Ford. Yes, sir. I work at GMC, but let me tell you. <laughs> that's all I'm going to tell you. I ain't trying to get fired. <laughs> anyway, so finally made it, but the strap got caught in something. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a mechanic anymore. I'm sick of this. Alright, so tonight is the last night staying in this apartment. Still got a lot of, a lot of packing to do before we move, but I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. As you can see, these two windows right here is our apartment. This is the people who are underneath us. So there's this guy in a wheelchair, I guess a military vet. He acts, I say cool during the day. He's all right during the day. He tries to say what's up and hey, how's it going or whatever. I don't know what got into him, but he used to like allow homeless people to stay with him and stuff like that. And there was like a lot of them in there. It wasn't until me and my wife heard telling them about it and they had like all this junk and stuff like that. And what I mean by collected is uh, one of the, like some of the stuff that Chanel and I were throwing away over the course of being here. He has um, like, I'll show you that little basket thing right there. That thing right there. We had put trash in there. Uh, it used to hold our blankets and stuff. They go over and take it from the trash and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing wrong with it, but you could definitely open this up. And then they were taking stuff from like the apartment, not our apartment, but at the apartment building itself. Like chairs that are by the pool and stuff like that. But well, mind you, he's in a wheelchair, so he takes the small stuff and he was using the other people to take the big stuff. On top of that, he started yelling racist slurs when he would get drunk or at the homeless folks. And uh, yeah, I went down there, confronted him about it and was like, hey, we're not gonna do that. And mind you, they're all, you know, white. And everybody who predominantly lives in this apartment building is either of black or I would say brown. I'm, I'm gonna just say that, black or brown. You're screaming out these slurs and then the, not only did I go out to confront them, uh, the people that used to stay across the hall from us really cool people they went out and confronted him and they were trying to figure out why he was saying it and he was saying it towards another fellow white guy so i was like huh and then he was like calling him the hard r um and all that type of stuff um and then the other day as i proceed to go out and walk luna i guess he was either drunk or whatever mind you like i said he usually tries to be nice to me during the day he's like oh he's sitting in his apartment door open you can hear him oh i hate hard r's oh i hate i hate up there goes one right there. And so I look and I'm like, oh, I'm the only one out here. Like, you know, who are you talking to? He didn't come out and say anything to me, but 
it's it's crazy like this this whole area matter of fact one time we were walking luna and on the other side of our apartments or whatever a big truck big blue truck with a chevy truck actually drives past and just screams it out just screams like straight out screams it flat out screams it for no reason and keeps on driving by the time i turn around to look he sped off it's like why 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 do we have such a hatred for something you can't control that's just like you know certain just certain things you can't control but we have a hatred towards others because of that and that's i i don't get it i really don't get it. we got a couple of more like holes to patch up but we're about to head out there and get majority of it little brother came and helped yeah, yeah, okay, okay. But like I said, I'm moving to my parents' house, which is gonna, one, help me save money, and then two, I get to stay with my parents, like, and finish school. I'm like, yeah. I got a little bit of some stuff left, but me and wifey are gonna come back and finish cleaning. Uh, that's why we're leaving, like, some of this. Um, but here's another reason we're leaving. Bro, this apartment is disgusting, yeah, bro. Disgusting. Very disgusting, like, bro. I can't even count on like my hands how many times I've had to kill these filthy things or whatever. I should take the trash out, but it is what it is. Um, as I said, we're gonna be back to finish. So we wanna keep whining and bothering everybody. So we're gonna go ahead and head out and get it done. Might record my mom, but anyways. If y'all haven't watched the Colorado vlog, go watch it because I'm not gonna lie. This is beautiful. Taking Luna out before I go to work. I'm gonna be late, but guys, the country life is a life like it's so peaceful besides like a little bit of cars that go past but they cut the grass yesterday go potty i gotta go go potty all right so this is the last little bit of the apartment just one last walk through make sure everything's all right you really ain't tripping i tried my best to like try to get these holes covered up uh, i did my best but yeah but anyways things just make a huge turn well i'm still here in my parents basement with that being said right now me and my wife are both working on something new it's, it's a bunch of stuff happening right now school is kind of whooping my butt so guys i really do apologize for not posting as much being very inconsistent like i said i just have a lot going on right now i hope you guys understand the channel is going to blow up i feel it I just need to be more consistent and stop making excuses so for these next few months i'm gonna work like a dog to try to get these videos out for you guys and grow the channel keep it cool strong see you guys soon